Channel 9's Chris Heath is live in Volusia County where he's been checking to see how things are going there now that Dorian is moving on. Hey, and Tom, I got to tell you, having been out here on this beach two years ago for Irma, this is a much better situation. A couple good things to get out of the way. First of all, the beach has already been checked out. No structural problems. All the seawalls still intact. As far as erosion, very minor erosion out here. And if you plan on coming out to the beaches, as you mentioned, it's going to get hot over the next couple of days. The beaches should be reopening here in Volusia County starting tomorrow. So all good things. Now, of course, for residents along this part of Volusia County here, in Daytona Beach, Daytona Beach Shores. Seeing the track this hurricane was taking a couple of days ago definitely gave them pause. They've lived through Matthew. They've lived through Irma in the last three, four years. They know that these storms can really pack a punch. So, so many people took every precaution, left nothing to chance, boarded up, found higher ground, and got out and hoped that the track that we were seeing a couple of days ago would hold, the storm would stay off offshore, which is exactly what it did. And many coming back today finding not only everything still intact, but finding things pretty much as they left them. It was scary uh, watching it, seeing it, knowing that it could come up here. And we literally live right over there. It could have just took us out like the Bahamas. And you hear that from people. They they are very they they understand that the same storm that just devastated the Bahamas really could have come up here and delivered a punch to them. They know that they really dodged a big storm through this. And now when you start to see that, you know, listen, people are out here walking on the beach, things starting to return to normal out here. Very grateful that, listen, what happened in the Bahamas was terrible, but the storm weakened by the time it got here. And really, Daytona Beach and Volusia County spared a real nasty storm that could have hit here. We'll have much more on this coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Now for now, reporting live from Daytona Beach, Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now in Brevard County, erosion has taken a toll on the amount of beach available with today's rough surf, but officials say it's not as bad as other storms like Hurricanes Irma and Matthew. Channel 9's Carla Ray live along Melbourne Beach for us tonight. Carla, there is already a renourishment project planned for later this year with the Army Corps of Engineers. Yeah, and that's good news. I mean, we all know that beach erosion is a constant thing that we have to battle here in Florida. So they are proactive in preparing for things like beach erosion during a major storm. Because take a look, we didn't even get a direct hit here in Melbourne Beach. And you can see that the dunes are exposed. There has been some loss of sand here. And I want to show you some video of some of the other parts of Brevard County's beaches. We actually saw erosion up to 12 feet in some parts of the county. And the really, uh, they were out a Assessing the damage today. They do know that they have that project coming up with the Army Corps of Engineers. That's going to take place between now and the end of 2019. At least it's planned to. It's going to be from the Pineda Causeway area all the way down south to where I am in Melbourne Beach. But the additional damage that we saw over the last 24 hours is going to be an expensive fix. Take a listen. Well, the exact decision of, of how much to bring in and the timing is still to be determined. But these projects are so large, both in length of shoreline as well as volume, that the cost of any repair will, will likely be in the millions. But whether that happens immediately or a few years into the future will have to be determined. And it's something they're going to definitely keep an eye on here because we are relatively early in this hurricane season. Hate to see it. We're still just a few days away from the peak of hurricane season. So they do feel like the beaches are more vulnerable now than they were just a week ago, of course, because of the erosion that we've seen out here. Reporting live in Brevard County, Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.